Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Oscar Mikey and today I want to talk to you guys about a little game called Grey Zone Warfare. Grey Zone Warfare is a co-op milsim PvE VP. They emphasize PvE VP in their marketing material and on their website. <laughs> uh, FPS that's going to be coming out in early access sometime this year. It was originally scheduled for early access in Q1 of this year, but they just recently delayed it. So it's going to be a little bit longer. I don't think they've given an updated uh, timeline of when that's going to release, but hopefully that'll come soon. This is going to be kind of like a pseudo Escape from Tarkov experience with a few differences. So the map is going to be massive and persistent, right? Kind of along the same lines as the Cycle Frontier. There's going to be a handful of PMC factions that players can choose to join. And when you get into the game, you're going to spawn into your PMC's uh, safe zone or their base in the map. So you hang out in there, you talk to traders, you buy stuff, you kit out your character. And when you're ready to go out, you call in a little bird helicopter that picks you up and then drops you in an LZ and you head out to do your missions or your quests or whatever. And when you've completed your objectives, you go to another landing zone, you call in a little bird and it brings you back to your base. That's the basic gameplay loop in a nutshell. This gameplay footage that they released is 23 minutes long and it's a good depiction of what a typical mission might look like when you go out with your friends and you fight the AI and you and you acquire objectives and you go back to the helicopter and all that kind of stuff. This is the first kind of raw gameplay we've seen uh, from Grey Zone Warfare. We have seen like marketing material and like gameplay quote unquote seen it like shown in trailers and stuff before but this is the first kind of mostly uncut footage we've seen. It's a team of four players and they start off in their little base. They call in a little a little bird helicopter to pick them up. They get flown into the map and get dropped off in an LZ and they dismount and move towards a small town to uh, start working on their objectives. So let's get into what I thought of the gameplay. I thought it was good. Starting off with the graphics, I mean, the way the game looks in general is very good. I think it's on par with a lot of other games today. I think Unreal Engine 5 gives a lot of especially small, smaller developers to make games that look on par with much bigger budget uh, titles, which is which is a great thing. Giving those tools to smaller developers and giving them access to that kind of stuff really opens the door for some fantastic uh, smaller budget games. Textures seem on point, lighting is on point, shadows, all of that is really good stuff. And yeah, that's all about what I would expect from an FPS coming out in 2024. Watching this footage, I was a little bit worried because it has a kind of, generally speaking, it has kind of a lifeless feeling to it. As good as the environment looks and as good as the graphics are, I think it needs a little bit of character. There's a lot of detail in the map. Like there's lots of like abandoned vehicles and storefronts have furniture set up for dining and, you know, things on the tables and some great detail work going on. But the environment besides the PMCs, besides the players and the enemy AI, there's nothing really going on in there. I would like to see maybe some enemy AI doing things like, I don't know, ransacking buildings or burning tires or something like that. It needs a little bit more character, a little bit more maybe like dynamic events going on to make it make it feel a little bit more alive and maybe throw in some wildlife too. On their way to the first little little town after they got off the little bird, there were plenty of like wildlife sounds, lots of really loud frogs and stuff, but you don't see anything. You don't see any animals or any wildlife at all, really. And I think maybe adding some wildlife into the game would help bring it to life a little bit and make it feel a little bit more alive. Combat also feels a little bit sterile. Some of the animations feel a little bit rigid, especially the third person animations when you can see the other PMCs walking. They just feel really stiff and they're lacking that kind of fine detail that makes them feel a little bit more natural, a little bit more alive and dynamic. It seems like there's only a small selection of guns at the moment and they mostly all sound the same. There's subtle sound effects I would like to see added that might deepen the experience, like the jingle of metal clasps and rushing of fabric against, you know, against your character's uniform when you walk or sprint, or louder and more scary bullet zings and snaps when you're being shot at. They are, they are in there, but I just feel like they could be pumped up a little bit to intensify the combat a little more. In their promotion and their marketing material for the game, they made a big deal out of the AI and its incredible smarts. But the AI in the demo seemed a little bit reckless to me. They didn't seem to have much concern for their own safety and they often just walked out into the open, leaving themselves wide open for attack. But they did have some comms and they, sh they shit talked the devs a little bit when they got close, which was kind of funny. Come on, we got to see some like weapon animations, handling and using like bandages and splints and those kinds of medical items. I think those are pretty good. The bandage is a little huge. It looks like he's using like a whole roll of toilet paper. I think there's memes already circulating about that. But besides that, I think it looks pretty good. And that honestly, that is a really brief overview of like what I think could be improved with the game. Now I want to put a giant asterisk over everything I just said. <laughs> this footage is from a very early build of the game. This is pre-early access. And I have 100% confidence that a lot of this stuff is going to be improved and built upon in future builds. And I'm really excited to see how this game will grow and improve in the future. I think what we're seeing here in this early gameplay is an excellent baseline or uh, foundation for potentially one of the best indie hardcore milsim PvEVP FPSs to date. I like what they're doing with the gameplay loop. I like that it's co-op. I like that it's PvE focused and not PvP. 
I like the environment, I like the weapons. I like pretty much everything I see about this game except for those minor details that I mentioned, and you just know that those are going to be improved in future versions. I wholeheartedly believe that Madfinger Games' commitment to Grey Zone Warfare is strong, and I don't think any of the perceived, you know, shortcomings that I talked about earlier in the video mean that you or I get to discredit this game or its developer, because again, this is incredibly early footage that we're seeing here. This is nowhere near final, and by the time we get our hands on it in early access, I am 100% certain that it's going to be better. I'm actually really looking forward to Grey Zone Warfare. I need another hardcore FPS in my life, and everything I'm seeing with this early gameplay, the good and the bad, suggests to me that this game has a hell of a lot of potential. I'm going to be playing the shit out of this game as soon as it comes out in early access, so get subscribed if you want to see that. Leave some comments with your thoughts on Grey Zone Warfare, because I really want to know if you guys are interested in this game if, and if you really do want to see some gameplay on the channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you.